if it's your moment, baby, give it a go. Well, we talked about moments, didn't we, last week? Um, sh- Hello, and welcome back to another episode, and they are episodes of the Lack of Focus show, and it is a show. With me today, I've got a corker of a guest for you. He's only gone and bloody got Matt Bentley. Hello. Matt, how are you? That was a good intro, I think. That was, you know what? You know, you know what? what? I was so ready just to <laughs> slam you. Yeah, yeah. It was all right. Well, I've seen you do it. Yeah. And it, it, what you've done, you've taken the pace out of it. Yeah, yeah. Slowed it really down. Really slowed it down. Because that, that's, that's sort of the pace I want today's episode to sort of flow at. I like it. Sort of relaxed. Yeah. Um, just to address, yeah, I feel in, in the sort of the, and be very transparent here. Mm. I, if I can just shock you for a second. <laughs> I, I can get a little bit hot occasionally. Ew. Now, the last episode we did was essentially an hour of just slagging off. Um, we have talked about slagging people off as well. Things and people, mm. um, which is pretty low-hanging fruit. Um, it's just easy. Too, it's, it's too easy to do it. Um, and uh, I don't... The thing is, I watched the episode back and I was like, that isn't reflective of how I am. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's because I came in pretty hot. I was in a, but I wasn't. I didn't have the best day. Sure. That day. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah. Fine. So also, I was I was too looking forward to going out drinking with you. Yeah, so yeah. I, we I were just getting... kind of wanted to get through this to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So this this episode is going to be this morning. We a little bit different. Yeah. Um, did you Did you have anything that you wanted to kick off with? Um, well, actually, just just in reply to to what you just said, it's funny. I um. I watched, uh, I didn't know that B- the Bill Burr has a podcast, you know, Bill Burr. Yes, I do know. And he, he had an interview with, uh, he had an interview, a podcast with uh, with Adam Driver. Oh, yeah. And I was like, great person to have on as a guest. Because Bill doesn't give a fuck. He's just going to talk about like sports with him. He's someone who's getting away with, he's the, the redhead yeah. guy okay, who was yeah. in Breaking Bad. For an Breaking episode. Bad, yeah. yeah. I think he was in quite a few episodes. No, he's proper, he's proper talented. That guy. He's a good actor. But he doesn't. Give a fuck. Doesn't give a fuck, yeah. And he could be kind of gets away with it because everything he's saying is is fine. Like, he, but he's he's really treading that line. But because of he's established who he is as a person, yeah. Like he's he's an, he's a decent person. So I feel that he's fairly like in terms of like treading the line in terms of what you could theoretically be cancelled for. He's sort of uncancellable because he's already established the fact that he's this character. Yes, yeah, so I, I yeah, ex- well, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know enough about him. I didn't know he had a podcast. Um, so as, I didn't know as, until... as opposed to a show. Yeah, exactly. Um, so step up, Bill. And you um, so you're saying he's he's like a good core, good guy. Yeah, yeah. All I ever hear from him is saying outrageous things, which I don't mind. Sure. I still, I, I actually find him really, really funny. But I don't know that that I didn't well, know that in a day. Well, because it's it's assumed it's always assumed with Bill he's doing a bit because he is doing a bit. Yeah. So it's like yeah. it's it, he's trying to be funny. Can I? So do, do you know what I don't understand at all is yeah. the guy um, Howard Stern. How oh, is Howard Stern so he was allowed the, to be on the air? Because he was the original, basically the original sort of long form interviewer but yeah, over yeah, the but radio. Isn't he like a monster. He, I, I find him aggressive and, and just a <laughs> bit of a of shit, just. No? Well, I don't know enough about him to be that, but for the questioning, the lines of questioning I've seen him do, it's gross. He's, he's trying to do this sort of Jeremy Paxman sort of tough line of questioning, yeah, yeah. but he does it too much and in, in in stuff where that's not warranted. So if you've got a politician sitting across from you, fine, Brilliant. grill the fuck out of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when you've got like Jennifer Lawrence and you're asking about her about her tits, like yeah, 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 yeah. Howard, yeah, like I just or don't even, like. I don't even, like it. Don't not go as far as that misogynistic stuff. Like even with like Harry Styles, just talking about like. So did you did you bang her? Did you bang her? Oh yeah, yeah, like, I know, man. Dude, yeah. like for, like I'm Harry Styles. And like, this is not it. my brand. Like Harry's yeah. a switched on guy. He only does things for brand recognition. Yeah, for sure. This isn't my brand. Telling people that I smash birds is not why I'm on your show, big boy. I'm here to look a little bit floopy goopy. I think I think with how well. I think with Howard Stern, I don't know enough about it, but I, I think with because he's such an an uh, an established. Um, he's an icon. For icon America, yeah. for whatever whatever good reason that is. Um, P he gets away with it. It's weird, but I, w- I wanted to go back to um, yeah. Adam Driver said um, in it was really it's a really good interview, but particularly an interesting one about like because Bill's like, oh yeah, you know people that you know what do you watch yourself and stuff. Uh, and Adam said I never used to watch myself, but I've started to now because I think it started to help in terms of I uh, what not watch the actual finished product, but I watch playback to understand like do I need to give a bit more to this performance? Definitely, so helpful. But it was really good because he's not he, like Adam Driver doesn't ever really talk like an actor. He just talks like a regular dude. He comes across very well. Yeah, he is a regular. Scorsese dude. said that he was the best actor he's ever worked with. Scorsese said that. But 
something Adam said. He was like, things like the thing is sometimes I'll watch something of myself and I'll, 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 he was like, I'm a detail person. So I like drive myself mad with it. Yeah. But he, he said like, once I've done it, it's not really yours anymore. It's, it, it's like, if, even if you think you watch, watching it back and you think oh, I wasn't really in this thing, I wasn't in it. It's a bit fake, whatever. The, it's not about that. It's about how the audience relate with it. And really? he was saying that a lot of the time I'll, I'll do something and I know I can do better, but it, I have to trust the director that they're looking at it and they say, we've got it. Trust I me. I think there's an on. element of, of picking your jobs and picking the people you work with. Yeah, correct. I was just reminded recently on this short that I did that you you, you forget how little control you have. Mm. And luckily, I really like the director and so the choices he's done in the edit. But yeah. like, and you're right about that. That's really interesting about yeah. the, the idea of like, okay, I definitely wasn't in that scene at that point. Yeah. But it actually doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because because you just have to trust that the director knows what he's looking for. He's like got Bill it. Nye said when he does like a six month run on a show. If you if you like feel every single time, every single thing, it's impossible. You've got to have tricks. Yeah. And I've always been a real bit. So like I can do, you know, I told you in the pub last Saturday, you, you, can, you can cry. My crying yeah. thing, my sad face, my sad thing that I do, like I can look like I emote incredibly so. Mm. It's a physical. It's like, a I, I unhook my jaw yeah. and my eyes water. That's really cool. I don't feel anything. But you start, I think it's a level of experience. You start to like figure out these tricks. I think also watching yourself back is so like demonized because John Depp. Yeah. The great John Depp. Mm. Jonathan, said, like, <laughs> Jonathan Depp. Oh, no, I don't, I don't watch my thing. It's like, well, listen, that's mm. fucking cool, John. Mm. Johnny boy. But I am going to watch my stuff. It's important there, to watch there, your stuff because you've got to see what you're like. There's two doing. things. There's two things. There's, there's one, I like, there's, um, who's the guy um, Torchwood what's the guy John Barrowman he said famously oh, I love watching my stuff back because it's my work and I enjoy it there's that that's element much, yeah. that's too much there's that element of vanity which I have and I did toward the beginning of my career or my, my acting whatever but now I can understand the value of being like it's not mine anymore but I do like the idea I'm that, still very vain I like I like. well I, I mean I still am I still have that, that that need to be like let's check it out yeah but at the same time I'm I can understand the let's leave it. But but the reason the reason I say that, just to bring it back to yeah. the beginning, um, is your you you the last two podcasts we did, I think you're looking at it with your I know what I was in I know what I was feeling in my head. Yeah, but and now I can like see that. that on screen. Yeah. But it didn't broadcast like that from well, my actually, I got a few it DMs. Did. Quite a lot of DMs actually. People have been like, Man, love the reset so this that so the other. Yeah. And I replied Thank to you one guys. of them being like, um, oh mate, I was in a terrible headspace that day and he's like, Oh, it didn't come across and mm. I'm like what show are you watching? But <laughs> yeah. It's because it's in the eye of the beholder. In the eye of the they, beholder, and the, and I think I think the, the people who have been watching this have been watching it enough to know who we are. Hopefully, now yeah. I, I think. Well, this is the, what I'm. The, the, cool. the best thing about being one of the most popular podcasts in the UK, yeah, is by by the way that's by metrics of of good and Maths. bad. Yeah, no, 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 not numbers. If you want to go down the numbers route, then we're in real trouble. But um, <laughs> if we're just going on like the metrics of what is a good show, then yeah, we're number one. We're yeah. way better than anyone that was ever on Made in Chelsea. I mean, every single person on Made in Chelsea has a fucking podcast, and they're rabbit. We've got glittering five star reviews. Correct. Glittering. Correct. From people that count as well. Yeah. Um, actually, to be fair, Sam Thompson's pretty funny. He's a very likable guy, and I do like Jamie Lang as well. And Ollie Lott's a good mate of mine. So actually, I take it all back. Take it all back. But they do have. There's too many podcasts. There's anyway, that's why this is a show. Um, is a show. I, it wasn't on my agenda, but Adam Driver in Girls, HBO Girls, it's phenomenal. I'm sorry, HBO Girls might be the most slept on, like iconic show of all time, mm. and it's because of the title. The title of it, it's cool, drives people, drives the genre of our, of like us away. I like it. I like. I mean, I, now I like it in retrospect. It's what well, I know. You're right. I think yeah. Show. And the thing is, like Lena Dunham, Lena Dunham, mm. her character is so unlikable, mm. right? And the idea now of having a show, like every show that gets commissioned now, you got to like them. You got to like your hero. Mm. And and she's so horribly just unbearable. Mm. Like even in like that the 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 um the murder thing um you right you yeah you like him you do like him yeah it's a fucking murderer you like he's him. charismatic as an actor I yeah, think. yeah 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 Man. but Adam Driver in Girls is like and this is so I watched um str I, us like strangers, strangers like strangers us. like us. Or something. Is it yeah. strangers like us? I don't know. This got it. I haven't seen it yet. You've I'm said so it's dyslexic, so I can never remember yeah. the titles of things. But um. It, it, I, I, Adam Driver and all Andrew of us Scott, are strangers. All of us are strangers. It, okay, yeah. it is a phenomenal 
movie. And uh, just to hark back to last week's of the Oscars are, are kind of nonsense. The fact that Andrew Scott hasn't been nominated for an Oscar is why you should just disregard the entire establishment of of that of the Academy Awards. You think they missed the trick? No, no, no. Uh, they haven't just missed the trick. They've missed possibly one of the greatest screen performances to have ever come out of the UK. Cool. I mean, and I mean that yeah. as as just he's without he's, recency bias. No, no, like no without that. recency bias. I genuinely yeah. think it will stand the test of time because there are moments watching that movie where you're just like. Oh my god! I'm not in there. I'm not in that room with them. Oh, I, no, yeah, yeah, fucking hell! This is a movie. Yeah, and what this is? He's my favourite. I think he is I think so he's my good. Favorite. And Matey Boy as well. Paul Mescal. Paul Mescal. He has one word where his accent drops. Only one word, and it's in the first scene that he appears in. Oh, and the rest of it, he's flawless, man. Great, he's fucking flawless. Yeah. So that movie, and I think that's like Adam Driver is reminiscent of of that, just like naturalistic shit in, yeah. in girls. Cool. And just being just super super like well i guess weird's an insult because he's being himself but he is an odd bloke adam Driver, yeah a gangly course. guy so he I looks really, so I, strange he's I got really such like, a great face i like that in elements because I do. i'm gangly and i'm a bit awkward when i'm standing up yeah um, and he's not he's not um traditionally handsome but he is handsome he's he's uh he's a strange looking man adam driver traditionally handsome must be now getting down and down like i was so it'd, be, it'd be pretty good if you if you if you bradley pitts bradley pitts but I, I still think that the element of being like traditionally handsome at the moment you got matey boy fucking uh well, thank, you, thank you very much oh austin butler now he's a he's, joke he's he is a joke yeah he's too good look tell me your thoughts on masters masters of the air so so i've watched two episodes now i've still got the third but what i want to do is i always want to have two to watch yeah you're good at that you're really you're you're i like to have two to watch so i don't want to have Harvey to... quinn with with control elements and that's crazy you surprise me yeah oh yeah oh yeah i yeah, just no. gobble it up like a greedy little goblin i watched so i, I uh <laughs> I, uh, I yeah I watched the first two episodes. Um, I I really fucking love it. I I do I do yeah, love it. No. It's it's just it's just it's it's, it's 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 for me though, isn't it? It's it's like I fucking love. I love Banner Brothers. I actually re really enjoyed the Pacific, even though it wasn't as good. Haven't seen the Pacific. It's it's good. Um, but this is just so. It's so. We said this. It's so funny. They got so lucky with Barry Kogan and and Austin Butler because yeah. they filmed it in 2021, yeah, 2020. They weren't unknowns, but they weren't what they are now. Which yeah, no. Barry's Juggles. just had salt burn. He just played the Joker for fuck's sake. I know. But matey boy, tall guy who plays opposite Austin Callum Butler. Turner. Callum Turner. Yeah, he's great. They got they got good with him as well. Yeah, he was. He, he's been knocking around for years. Callum Turner. Yeah. So well, he's younger than me. So that's. He has been knocking around for years. He has so. been knocking around for years. He was, yeah. a, he was on a thing on the BBC where they are able to like deep fake things. It was one of the first things of deep faking. I can't remember uh, what the show yeah. is called. Um, but he's an actor who just slept slipped in because he's he's a posh boy. Uh, and yeah. his first role on the BBC was playing like a, he was a, a model. Role, like a, he was like a model. A, like a bad before, boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah a model was, before a. Uh, Oliver Spencer. Yeah, and then he didn't. He, so again, untrained, just got into it. But yeah. I think I think he had his training on, on a on a film set. Yeah, but my argument is that the 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 same thing with uh, who's the guy from um, from um, he played Elton John. Oh, Taron Egerton. Taron Egerton. So Taron's another one who their breakout roles were playing like Pussy boys, like no, like boys from estates putting on an accent. Oh yeah, which I could do. But isn't Taron Egerton I'm now, harder? Yeah, exactly, mm. and. He's a posh Welsh guy, but now yeah. you're not a. You just wouldn't be. They would cast someone who's actually yeah. from an estate. So that element. Of yeah, it, true. Th their their entry levels, both of them, are things that simply don't exist anymore. It's funny. So they my, got lucky. My with friend that, with that. My friend Ryan looks quite similar to Taron Egerton, the similar sort of thing. But Ryan is from an estate. And he's from Coventry, and like yeah. he went to Rad. I think he was just Coventry. He, yeah, is a tough place. Yeah. So Ryan got scholarship to Rada. Yeah. They do like three or four a year or whatever. Two girls, two boys. And then he, but he was in a similar year as Taron. And then obviously it would have been like for Ryan, I imagine he'd have been like, fucking this guy stealing all my work. Yeah, doing, I, yeah, I was doing I was, it work. Last summer I was having a drink with a girl who was at school with, with Taron. And she said uh, he got all the attention in the second year mm. shows. Um, but he was just fat. He just didn't, he just <laughs> didn't care. He just got fat. Yeah. He didn't care. And then all these agents who had come to see him were just yeah. like, not, not signing you, big boy. Big boy. Big boy. And then by third year, he was just like, <laughs> right, let's go on it. Slimmed up, and now he's Taron Egerton. 
He is Taron Egerton. I haven't seen Tetris. It's meant to be oh, good. it's not good. You didn't no, like it? No, 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 no. Too safe, too boring. Rubbish film. Fair. Rub- rubbish movie. Don't see it. Oh, fine. Okay. Yeah. I, want, yeah. I haven't seen. Yeah, I still need to see Blackberry as well. It's that's like sort of a get it. Sort of you 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 learn to speak Japanese. Yeah, that can't, you can't. That's not enough for have a whole fucking movie, bro. <laughs> it's some, It's not enough. You need I would. To do, l- it's got to be good somewhere. Uh, to be fair, I would love. That. I mean, that seems like a lot of work. For a you'd movie be to surprised. Learn Japanese. Not if you, I mean, uh, if you like, like they learned Dothraki just by learning the sounds. Oh, you mean like phonetically learning? The, not, I, don't think, I don't think he learned what Japanese. you're saying. In oh, the same fine. way that, um, oh, oh, God, I'm, and I'm so bad with names. She played Marilyn Monroe recently, very ill cast. Anna de Almas. Like in her first movie with, um, in uh, War Dogs, she, in, 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 in English, right? She doesn't know what she's saying. She's she said this in an interview. She oh, she didn't she speak English. She doesn't know the English she's saying. She's learnt it as sounds and, and phonetics, and been told when to be angry and shout. And she's doing this whole monologue with um with the with, with the, the co-star, and she doesn't know what she's saying, and she's fucking amazing. Anna de Armas, friend of the show. We've friend had a letter show, in. Anna, Anna. She, she's written in. So Thanks for tuning in as always. Thank you, thank again, you for letters. Her English is phenomenal now. That happened quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it learning English. This is why I don't quite. Oh, this is a dangerous one. Should we go into the dangerous territory? Yeah. <laughs> Penelope Cruz. Penelope Cruz. <laughs> yeah. Do you, it, would you, do you? You've been. You've been here for a long. Do you, yeah. Do you need the accent, or are you putting it on? Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Arnold is putting. He's been it on. in America He's since the sixties. <laughs> on. Arnold. Arnold, you're putting on the accent. I go to fucking Fair LA for two it. weeks and I'm saying sidewalk. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> come on, bruv. <laughs> um, Harvey. It is a sidewalk. Um, I'm going to, yeah, time to, time to come at you a little bit here. Sure. You ready? Yeah. I'm excited. Harvey, you're a man of your principles. Sure. Um, you're always saying, you know, if you were invited to an award show, yeah, yes, you're not for you. You know, you, you don't want. You, I mean, I'm saying, yeah, I'll get get me down there, yummy, 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 yeah, feed yeah, me yeah. up. I'll lick the plate and still ask for more. You don't Are they want more don't, canapes. Don't, over don't, there? don't fancy it, do you? You know, it's not for you. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, listener and hopefully viewer, um, we were invited to a screening oh, of did. a uh, yeah. sh- 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 of a movie. <laughs> Um, that was uh, on Amazon and uh, a very nice sort of like sort of uh, uh, events down on uh, down in Soho, down on Dean Street. Did you or did you not attend? I did attend, well, yeah, uh, but it wasn't an award fell ceremony. At the, fell at the first hurdle. At the fair, you've only been known for about a couple of days, yeah. And the first time you've been invited to a I got double of a name. movie that you're not in. I got double script of a film that you're not in and have nothing to do with. Nor me. God knows why they want us to be there. I know it's weird. I mean. I know, oh, why. I, I know why. why. I know 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 why. It's because we're why. reaching millions with this podcast. And we're going to talk about it now. Um, so I just just talk me through your thought process because you're a man. You're of man, you're going principles, aren't you? Well, yeah, uh, but I didn't. You know, I didn't get paid for it. Didn't accept any money from it, and it wasn't a free bar. Yeah, and we weren't drinking. Yeah, and I want to see a nice movie, and it's an indie movie, and uh, I'm glad. We, I'm glad we went to see it. So was I. Because um, you never know with these things that, you know, I would say when anyone invites you to, if someone you don't know invites you to a movie screening and yeah. you don't know really why they're inviting you. Yeah. It's And if they go to us, if they're coming to us, yeah. who, like, who, what, the, who else? Who the, is, who, who the hell else? Who, who the invited? hell else? They, uh, yeah, it's they not invited. James McAvoy. It's definitely not James McAvoy because he weren't there, was he? James didn't turn on it. Um, um, it's a shame. Um but yeah, so you, there was a bit an element of trepidation, an element of oh fuck, is yeah. gonna be, is this, it gonna be shit? Yeah, is this... it's gonna be shit. Surely it can't be good. And then we got there, and uh, I was like, oh yeah, like I said to Matt, we're walking in. And there was like, there's quite a few people Me. there. I was like, oh yeah, this is um, how long is the short? And Matt went, no, no, feature, feature, feature. Film. I was like, f- nice feature, film. ninety minutes. Yeah, yeah. And then and now I'm thinking, fuck, I'm panicking. I'm like, well, what if it's shit? And and then. And bless her, the uh, the 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 lead in the film, mm. who organised it, Flora, uh, who is, is amazing. But I I just met her, and she was like doing the thing, working the room, chatting to you, chatting to me, way better than we do it. Way better, way better than we do Effortless. Do yeah, yeah. She and uh, sort of natural she, like that. She gave you a hug, and she was like, "Oh yeah, don't don't leave before saying goodbye. Don't leave before leave watching the film." And she I looked at us. Matt, and I went, oh, "She's done me there," because I was I was angling. Now you're. Yeah, I was I like, can't, I can't believe you're being this honest. I'm being very well because I'm I, I, well, very transparent. But no, I, it means more. I would if I'm never, honest. I would never have not. 
I would never have left. I would, no, I know. I, I you you said, it. you said, I remember you were like, no, of course I'm not. I'm st- I would have yeah. stayed 100% because just, I just, I just would have done. Sure. But you would have left. But I didn't. But you didn't. No, I didn't. And, so that's the main thing. And the only thing, and this is, this is what's interesting. <laughs> it's be- the only thing that stopped you from leaving was that it was really good. No, no. The only thing oh, okay. that stopped me from leaving was just uh, I'm trying to be a bit more optimistic with everything. You're the most optimistic person I've ever met. Yeah, but I'm trying if to you're be optimistic, more so. what the fuck am I, mate? Well, because I'm actually funny. If I was at um, a wedding this weekend and I met a guy who was like the most relentlessly optimistic person, he was like, yeah, "Hi, how are you?" That's too. That's no. It was you good. Just relax. No, no, no. But Everyone it, just take a step back. It, it was, but it was also like I, I was annoyed at first. Correct. And then, but then I was actually like, "Do you know what? What a way to live." Okay. What a way to live okay. like that. Okay, but I just I don't I I don't think it's possible. I think when you meet someone who's so relentlessly positive like mm. that, then there's something terrifying. Like I always say, right? A bit worrying, yeah, yeah. I need to know early doors what makes you a terrible person. Okay? So sure. with me, mm. I can get cross and a bit like it's very clear as to why some people won't like me, and that's mm. fine. Yeah. I, I genuinely don't mind. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I don't. I truly am not hiding anything about my personality. I'm secure yeah. in myself that I'm a nice enough guy, and it's that the other. Yeah. You as well. I'm selfish. That's the thing that lets me down. You are selfish. Yeah. Yeah. Selfish. But that's okay. But you also you catch yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's on, a work in it. progress. Yeah. You catch sure. yourself yeah. on on that a lot. Mm. Uh, and also because I'm uh, very honest, mm. I call you out on it all the time. Yeah, but it's helpful. I won't stop doing it. Yeah. Don't stop doing it. Um. So anyway. We, why was the why was the film really good? Tell um, me, break so it down. Sat down and it, the movie's called Another One, or isn't it One One Another, another One another, another? Get the title one. right. Yeah, probably that's probably a good one. Make sure. And uh, we'll put it in the description. And it, can we put a link to it or anything? Harvey, why Flora? Are you I, me this? Flora, why didn't you give us a little press junket? Because I we're free, uh, spitballing here. I thought you were making notes. No, well I did make notes, but that was more about the movie itself. Um, yeah, that's the fucking thing we're doing. Well, no, but I'll get to that. I'm just uh, I'm setting the scene, Matt. I'm painting a picture. Allow me. Scene. Indulge me. Okay. Um so yeah, um one one another, I guess a comedy I, I what is it? Is it sort of like psychological comedy Psycho, drama? Yeah, yeah, comedy drama, yeah. Um and I was absolutely I was blown away blown away by what away they've by achieved. Yeah, because Flora said to us right before she was like, We did this on zero budget. Yeah. And Matt and I have had our fingers in enough sort of pies to know how hard that is. We've had to we tried to make stuff for ourselves. Mm. And it's just it is so, so, so hard to, to call in favors and all that sort of stuff. So to 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 look at what they achieved on a zero 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 dollar budget was was incredible but at that side even if they said it cost like 10 grand i would have been blown away do you know what i mean the concept of the movie was um two couples break up and because um, their their partners um cheat on on them with their like mate best friends they're like basically they basically do like a wife swap but like 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 after the fact and they come up with a contract to pretend to be like their exes yeah and wean themselves onto each other and it's like a really fucked up situation but it's really genuinely like I, it's I've a brilliant seen, film. It's just really funny. Yeah. Um. And um. Yeah. I. If you. It's on Amazon. Is it on Amazon now? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Okay. Well, again, Flora. I'm, I'm not a prank. Flora. 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 I can just Flora. shock you. This is what you get. You this is mean? the like you you invite us to your screening and you want us to plug it, and the, the, you and know, we will plug it. This is the thing. Had it been bad, I probably wouldn't have said it was bad, but I wouldn't. I would just say I've forgotten to mention it. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I may, I may, I may, I'm, I would have mentioned we've seen it, but I wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't have lingered on it. Just said the lighting's great. Lighting's great. Good angles. Oh man, that, that score. Brilliant score. Yeah. Um, I thought the movie itself was, was, if we're talking themes, I, I really like the idea of like these two characters have been left in it. So the breakup, to be, to be fair, the two breakups at the beginning were really well filmed. Um, cause yeah, both the leads really sort of nailed getting broken up with and the desperation particularly on the guy's part his desperation yeah, was, yeah, was, yeah. was pretty the was pretty guy. amazing yeah and then obviously the, the 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 two the two the two leads have been left their partners are now a couple and it's about having to having to deal with that but i love that the whole idea was like when you when you get broken up with everyone you felt this i've definitely felt this it's des- It's like so self-indulgent that you're you're trying to resist that self-indulgence. You're trying to resist that. Oh fuck! Well, let me just sit and wallow my feelings, or let me see what they're up to, or let me text them. It's like let's see. Like 
the idea is everyone feels that they want to self-indulge, but the idea is you don't. For this movie, the whole concept is what if you just just d- indulge just to the hundred percent, like yeah, to the yeah, absolute yeah. Men- like mental capacity, and these characters do some absolutely maniacal things, some crazy things, and it's acted really believ- believably. And at no point did I think mm, this is a bit out of out of character. I, I, I sort of I bought it. I think you and I both said, and we said this to Flora when we came out. Um, it, the only issues I had with the film was, necess- was probably the pacing in the first half. It could have maybe been tightened up, but once that second, once we hit that sort of Rubicon moment, mm. and we get into the second half of the movie, I was so fucking in. I was, and I, and it's such a strong. I was laughing a lot. I was such a strong like second act and such an incredible third act and ending. I, it, yeah, the ending to that movie is is really that's that stuck with me. I've thought about it a few times afterwards. I, I sp- spoke to a few other people about it. I think I would like to watch it again with with with, with a couple of mates or something. But yeah, I really really liked it. So Bobby if Quinn you do, gives it a thumbs up. I give it, yeah, double thumbs up. Um, if you are, yeah, I will try and put a link to it in in the thing. Do you know what I mean? That's, right. You liked right. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I echo your thoughts. I just found it really, really funny. Great. That's that movie done. Review. Nailed it. Look, if you want to us to review your little thing, doesn't not, have to not, be it doesn't even have to be doesn't movies. It could be anything. Cars. Like, uh, um, new new pair of gloves. Do you know what designed. I mean? If you want to just sort of run some fashion ideas past us. I'm cool for that as well. I'm well up for that. Um, just sort of, you know, use us. Yeah, do use us because we are worlds of Invite knowledge. Us Invite us to stuff. Also, we'll work a room. I'll work a room. If you yeah. need, the thing is, if you need us, if you've got a bit of a dead room and you've got a bit of like your mates from school who now sort of are accountants and that, and yeah. you're like, God, I could really jazz this part. Get us in there. Yeah. Get us in there. We'll spice things up a bit. We will. We good, always do. good or bad, you don't know. It, listen, it's going to be bad. Uh, Pro, eight, 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 eight times out of ten, it'll be bad. But definitely, those those two definitely, times, definitely, solid goal. Definitely. But you can't. Don't look to the negative. Can't. Look to those. You know, strive for the those two times out of eight where we're just like, whoa. Try for greatness. Party on, party on the dance floor. He who dares wins. Print the myth. Exactly. Um, so, given that it's my show, it is now, and I'm sort of taking the lead here. Yeah. I had this idea that um, I wanted to talk about. Um, I want to talk about video games, actually, because it's a big part of my life. Less so yours, which is kind of good. I'd say you're a, a casual game player. I'm more of an enthusiast. Um, I, is that I, fair to say? You, I would, yeah, I mean, look, I'm I'm extraordinarily good at FIFA. Mm. Um, always have been. It's yeah. my thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I like doing, I like open world stuff. Like GTA, Assassin's but Creed. I now, yeah, Assassin's Creed, but like I now, I, I would be interested with you. Actually. Sure. This is interesting. Do you not feel like you're just fucking wasting your life away? Because when I get Depends. on that, that's not an insult. I mean, Depends, it sincerely. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm playing, a, 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 especially an open world game mm. or like my manager mode on FIFA, mm. and I'm like, yeah, man, like this, like this, like this, this youth player has been like asking me for that, and I'm like, yeah, cool. Now he's won the champion. Mm. Then I look at myself like, Duh. what am I doing? Get out, go and do what you're doing. Mm. I know what you mean. Do you not battle that self-loathing with games? Ye- yes. I, well, th- there's two there's two answers to that. It's a two-pronged question. So it depends on the game type. I think o- I've got open world burnout. So any like open world games now, unless they're fucking brilliant mm-hmm. and there's a good narrative there. How hard do you how hard do you rate, let's say, Red Dead Two in that? Red Dead Two is an incredible, incredible narrative experience. It's like it's like it's like watching an HBO show. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and 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 it's well acted, it's well written, and it's and it's. It's fantastic. Yeah. That that that's different. Um, but then you like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We talked about it's just that is just crunching, boring, more like boring, mindless. I was, I, I was thought you were going to say it was really good. No, no, it it's, it's 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 just an Ubi, so Ubisoft is the video game company. Jimmy and, Assassin's Creed Two. Two, yeah, yeah. That's it's when they had stuff to adore. say. Yeah, but they but then they did so many. They've just burnt out on them. They've done Assassin's Creed Syndicate and I liked Assassin's Creed. Black Flag is amazing. I know you keep saying Black Flag is really good. Pirates. I liked. I think it was number Assassin's Creed Three with when you play Connor. Connor, yeah, yeah, Connor. good, <laughs> good, yeah, Connor. <laughs> like I'm oh, gonna give you a, uh, a magical Connor. Connor, yeah. Come on, man, mate. The new the the the, the, the main character of the new Final Fantasy game is called Clive. No. Clive. It's a good name for a movie star. Clive. Clive. Yeah, there's no Clive. Also, because it's Japanese, I think in Japan they're like, Clive. Sounds good. No, no, no. <laughs> they don't know that it's normally about 50, 60 year old bloke. If I met It's from Clive East now, Sussex. Quite vibey though. Clive now would be quite cool. Clive. I think Cl- yeah, quite a good name now. Yeah. But um, 
so yeah, like I think for for me, there's some really amazing like the games that I really really enjoy are it's there's a, there's a, there's many answers to this question, but like narrative games i don't feel like that about because then they're good narrative like so yeah. the last of us the last of us too okay um, yeah, yeah. any like really good final fantasy game i mean less so now i i i think i think the last few releases have been a bit weak um but then even um yeah to play like call when i play call of duty online yeah. with mates i feel like i'm wasting time yes because it's just like what am i doing yes. it's boring um less so i've, I've been recently playing tekken 8 because it got released and that is fucking high level like it's like playing a game of chess with someone it's like it's no, stimulating the is mind is it really yeah, it is it's that wow level that's interesting yeah it's just like so i instinctively would say that's just like um mashing no 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 you, you'd get t taken apart at the high levels doing that it's there's so many things you can do like feints and like what 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 hits are safe on block so if i if i throw out a hit and it gets blocked am i safe or is it punishable there's so many little okay. things you can do and different like some of the characters have got different stances and then different like 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 um uh gauge management and stuff like that this high level play that's why like um so the, that the, game's come a long way since i've been long well yeah. th to be fair like uh, the fighting game community like fi street fighter 3 for instance like that was high level back in like the 90s there were like big fighting game Mortal tournaments combat was a sick game more combat's Growing good that, yeah so even Growing the new one was, was, was very good the best game and this is i lost um i think i failed a couple of gccs because of this was fight night round two yeah fight fantastic night round three. seriously those games yeah were very good just for not like i i, I, I wonderful I, I can't get over it like sometimes i'll hear the soundtrack yeah, that, and I'll just be like back in teleported, but yeah, I would lose sleepless. I'm I look tired the entire time anyway. Imagine me when I didn't sleep and just like trips <laughs> all day when I was like 14. Christ alive, you wouldn't get ID'd for stuff, would you? At 14, right. no, you'd man, just go no, in no, and no, be no. like, Yeah, of course, they were fucking old as shit. Yeah, you're 21 years old. Yeah, no, I've looked like this since I was 14, <laughs> <laughs> quite young for my age. But but he's grown into it, he's grown, grown into, into it. it. Agent. Um, so yeah, like. Uh, th there's an exercise I wanted to do with this about video games because uh, obviously we, we talked briefly about what video games are. Like for me, video games are 1997 Final Fantasy VII releases. I'm on, on PS1. I beg my parents to buy it for me yeah. and I play it and that's like one of my favorite games of all time. And I'm a big Final Fantasy person and, and, and fucking a lot of other shit, man. Like Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 3 just came out. Very, very good game. Metal Gear Solid, I'm a big fan of. I'm not sure if you ever did that. I played a bit of Metal Gear Solid, but you, the reason why I was never good at that and Splinter Cell is because you have to be like... Stealthy. Stealthy. Yeah. I If I can shock you for a second. You're loud. I go in loud. I'm, I'm kind of a... I'm I, busting through the front door, machine gun on the hip. I'm coming in hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought what would be a good idea is if I could just name some video game franchises yes yes so let's say the, the the top rated franchises of all time or video games of all time okay. and you tell me your thoughts on them and they could be qualified or unqualified they'll be qualified and i'll pitch to you why they're good or or i'll give i'll come up with a pitch as to why they're good yeah i don't fully understand the game but i'm in okay well look and let's see, video game franchises and just because i don't understand something would be a terrible because i wouldn't do anything i would just say best video games of all time and then we'll Oh, you haven't got the list up. Okay, good. No, 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 no. Why would I? You know what? I was actually thinking your episode was going quite well. I know what well, I was as well. But you know what no. I quite like about the how you said this is your episode? It implies that every other episode has been mine. Well, you've sort of taken the lead. Yeah. Um, all right. It's all the main one. So, <laughs> Halo. Rubbish. Why? What is your thoughts on it? Futuristic, exclusive to Xbox, and obviously Xbox is terrible. Next. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I can't see the face. Can't I? Can't identify with anybody. <laughs> I can't see the face. Can't see the face in a fucking thing. Uh, but do, you too... know, do you feel the same way about Judge Dredd? Don't know what that is. Next one. Okay, next one. Um, Minecraft. Um, I what think is Minecraft it? is really, really special to a lot, a lot of people. So I won't be as just like a blue, like and just like Halo. Not Halo is probably pretty. Um, no? Yeah, I, I really just don't give a shit about Halo. I think Halo's rubbish. So I'll give you a, what Minecraft is in a sentence. It's build blocks. That's not a sentence, but yeah, okay. two words. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that is technically a sentence. Yeah, build blocks. Um, I think it's. I think, I think. I think it's. Um, yeah, fine. I don't really understand it, but maybe like Lego for now kids. And I was obsessed with Lego. Pretty much. So. That's a great way of putting. Hello. It. Hello. That's ten points to Gryffindor. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Is that the most recent one? Yeah. It's old now. It came out. Wait, GTA Five. Oh yeah, Five. Um, yeah, potentially one of the best open world games ever made. What are your thoughts on GTA Five compared to like the original PS2 with the San Andreas? Is the, the yeah, nowhere near. San, nowhere near. Right? San, San Andreas was uh, pinnacle. The, I think. Was, so Vice City 
looking back just feels like a demo for San, San Andreas. Andreas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, 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 and it was, you know, amazing yeah. and, and, and you could hit people with hammers and get on a get on a moped. San Andreas was is the goat, yeah. The I think well, I think it was like the like the, it was back when rocks uh, Rockstar had like a really they had stuff to say. There they was were, like satire in there. They were playful. They were it was yeah. a playful game. At the same well, time. I also like because it's a British studio. It's a British studio looking at America, America. through a British lens. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of cool. And then they obviously did um, uh, Bully. Do you remember Bully? Yeah, Caleb's Can Matter. Yeah, a great fucking game. Great game. But they had that, that that I think PS2 era for Rockstar was fucking great. But then I really liked Grand Theft Auto 4 Four with so Nick, Nico. What a Nico sick Bellic. character. Nico Bellic was what a sick um, character. And again, that was when you just every time you thought you knew where they were going to go with it, you had CJ. Yeah. And you think everyone loved the gangster element, the hood stuff. And then it was like, nah, Nico Bellic. Yeah. Immigrant like, from yeah, somewhere coming Europe. to New York. Yeah. Bomb, here we go. And he's a nutter. No, he's, but he's not, not a nutter, nutter. but he, he cousin, was a nutter. His cousin yeah. was a nutter, and he, and he used to be a uh, great game. Great game. Great game. Great game. Okay, uh, Bioshock. Never heard of it. you never heard. What do you think Bioshock is? Bioshock will be some, again, space rangery thing. And he's no. got like a gun that goes pew pew as, instead of okay. rubbish. Okay, I'll tell you what Bioshock is. It's quite, quite um, surprising. It's a game by from the, ma from the man Ken Levine. Who's a famous uh, video game designer, and he he always makes the same game basically. But Bioshock was when he was at the top of his game, and the whole concept is you're okay. Your cat, it's all first person. You're flying in a, in a, it's set in like the '60s. Your plane goes down uh, in the ocean, and you you come up, and there's like a boy, uh, like a like a yeah. like weather boy. And you know what is that? And you swim up to it, swim down, and there's a there's a uh, a city utopia under the sea that he's built, and it's sort of in Art Deco style. And it's the storyline is uncovering the the, the the mystery of that city, but it's it's a city gone wrong. It's obviously something terrible has happened because you're there and there's there's a freaks running around with like guns and shit and like mutant powers. You, no, you're out. You're out with the mutant powers. I'm out. See again. Uh, be real. It's a good game, but yeah, it's uh, a. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, the Legend of Zelda. Yeah, iconic. I mean, just for the listen with a little fairy. I see. Um, yeah, um, I was never very good at Zelda. No, me either. Um, because I never... I, so I had a very strict upbringing, so I wasn't allowed games consoles. So I didn't have Fine. a PlayStation 1 or Nintendo. My first one was PS2. Yeah. But by that point, I was already a pretty competitive tennis player. Athlete. So I had I had been doing... Like, but it's it, what's kept me really young, actually. Yeah, not having, not having. I was out That's about playing nice, in the park yeah. That's nice. more than anything. But yeah, so I never had a Nintendo. But I do Zelda, iconic, and cool. uh, got it can't be overlooked. Yeah. Like it, yeah. yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd, 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 I mean, that would be the pitch. Be... I, I reckon I could while away a couple of days now playing some Zelda. Miyamoto, happily. the um, the, the, well, the the creator of Zelda, the way that he he designed Zelda is it reminded him of he wanted that fe to capture that feeling of being a kid playing in the park. And the and the gardens of Japan and using your imagination definitely so that's definitely what, resonates with that cool isn't it yeah that's cool yeah um Resident Evil um never played it but I respect it as probably one of the like members of the Godfather probably like the like one of the yeah. originals one of the OGs sure yeah um then they made movies and I think the movies were, are terrible yeah whatever the movies are terrible because but it's the the games yes yeah, weirdly zombie things yeah I'm all for. Goblins, yeah. I'm out. Okay. I'm a man of mysteries. <laughs> Goblins. I'm don't a complicated come near me. guy with a complicated past. Well, well, <laughs> but then Bioshock is mutant from like like experimentation. Well, we said no to Bioshock. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so Resident Evil for me, Resident Evil 1 is it, it, aged very, very badly. Res well, there's a remake of Resident Evil 1, which is excellent. Resident Evil 2. Classic game of the PS1 era, <laughs> but it's but it's been remade recently. Resident Evil yeah, yeah. very very good. The the best one for me is Resident Evil 4, which came out in I think 2004 2005. But it was the first game to have that old over the shoulder over the shoulder perspective. Yeah, okay. So it was the first game that did that, and then every game after that copied it. Like Gears of War copied it. Right. Um, even like GTA, it has Resident Evil 4 to thank for that over the shoulder tight sort of action camera. I that's my favorite. It's brilliant. It is my but favorite, but yeah. Resident Evil 4 recently got remade. It, um, it's incredible. It's a really, really incredible game. Um, Uncharted. Yeah. Um, different gravy. Yeah. Different Dif gravy. Yeah. I think, um, I, again, um, I've never owned an Uncharted, but um, from my, a good friend of mine, Rupert. Yeah. Of course, I have a friend called Rupert. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. Jesus. That's what a giveaway. I know. Um, 
Roops Roops fucking loves it. Yeah, he and does. um Yep, I'm in. Yeah, very, it's very, very it's good. so so Uncharted was made by Naughty Dog, who initially made um Crash Bandicoot for PS1. What? So they're an amazing developer. Bumbrega. Bumbrega, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Crash Bandicoot 2 and Crash Bandicoot 3. And then they made then the PS3 era came out, they put out Uncharted, and it was their first foray into like a bit more serious, a bit more serious. Yeah. Uh, sort of an Indiana Jones type character, yeah. And then Uncharted Two, which was uh, for me the pinnacle of the sh- of the series, was amazing, yeah. And then Three, and then Four came up for PS4, and it recently got remastered again for PS5. And those are like the pinnacle of like action adventure narrative, like yeah. kind of pulp fictiony sort of um, Indiana Jones sort of mm. vibe. It's like it's like pulp like fiction. It's it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Uncharted, big up, big up. Um, Super Mario. Iconic again, Iconic. probably the OG. If I was to, if I was to think of a game, it's Super Mario. Yeah. Um, I kind of forgive it all sins. I mean, super even even when you're doing the stupid racing on on these space rainbow mm. space cowboy fucking shit. I yeah. mean, I think the racing. Yeah. It's weird, <coughs> Mario. It's, it's weird that he's an Italian plumber, isn't it? Yeah. And he's got a brother called Lu- Luigi. Like, yeah. When what were they think? What like Mike? Okay, we're gonna make a video game for kids. Cool. It'll be he's, Super he's Mario a, will be uh, it will be in, there will be an individual somewhere in history who it's based off. Simple as that. It's the plumber, plumber called Mario, and then someone's just like it, I mean that that will be I'd put money on it being that. <laughs> but there were Japanese being. developers though. They didn't have any. I presume they didn't know anyone called Mario that was a plumber in the in the what in the late seventies. It's mental, is yeah, what it is. Yeah, don't overthink it. I'm not going to overthink it. Um, Half Life. Never heard of it. Okay, that's an interesting one. So Half Life. Came out on PC originally, uh, I think the late night ninety seven. But it was the first game to do real narrative without using cutscenes or any um, exposition. So you'd just be playing the game the whole time, and things would happen around you. Then Call of Duty have done that since. But it was the first game where you're playing. You play as a scientist called Gordon Freeman, who um, basically an experiment goes wrong in, in Black Mesa facility, which is a place in New Mexico. And the Half Life is like the thing of you know, nuclear thing. Yeah, yeah. Nuclear Half Life is, is degradation of of, yeah. of uranium or whatever. Um, but the experiment goes wrong and it opens a portal to another uh, alien world, and they invade. Surprisingly, you haven't lost me there. Yeah, so it's based on a, a, a Stephen King... Well, it wasn't based on. It's inspired by a Stephen King book called The Mist. Okay. And it got made into a movie with Thomas Jane. But this is afterwards. Okay. But it's a really good concept. And the Half-Life, Half-Life is a very, very, very good game. Okay. Um, Metal Gear Solid. Again, I mean, I'm saying all these things are classics. Metal Gear Solid's... Um, I. I I think for me, hmm. I had the association of um, Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, so it's completely different. I I'm aware of that. Yeah, they're both actually they're both comments on war. Both comments on war. Yeah, and let's try colon. And all I remember about uh, Metal Gear Solid is that you can kill and eat snakes, and you, you can in once. Yeah, and yeah, I just three. That again, Metal Gear Solid again. I want to fucking blow the doors open and fucking shoot from the hip. Yeah, yeah, This guy's got to like crawl through grass. True, and yeah. When it came out, I just didn't have the the the, uh, the patience, the patience, the patience yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, game. Cool. Yeah. The cool thing about so Metal Gear Solid, um, the first one came out in 1999 and it was like for PS1 and it still looks pretty good to this day. It was like cutting edge when it came out, but it was directed by a guy called Hideo Kojima who's like now basically a mad genius like fucking um, video game maker, but he's also, he does loads of work with Guillermo del Toro. He works with loads, of, he, like Maz Mikkelsen was in his latest game. Oh, okay. um, Norman Reedus. So he's like very, very well respected in Hollywood because he's always wanted to be a filmmaker really. But he made Metal Gear Solid 1 and it, it was like commentary on, it was an anti-war uh, story, but it was shot and directed like a movie. Right. It was, really, it was the first sort of cinematic video game I ever played. Which is now quite common. But which yeah. is really common now, but at the time it was not. And then he's done weird things. So like Metal Gear Solid 2, he... <laughs> genius. So he took this beloved character of Solid Snake in the first game who everyone loved. And in the second game, the first opening chapter, you're playing a Solid Snake and they released that as a demo. And it was like the, the jump from PS1 to PS2 was mega. So it looked incredible. So everyone's like, oh my God, there's new technology, we get to play a Solid Snake. And he kept it a secret that you don't actually play a Solid Snake in the actual game. And no one knew until the, the game fucking launched. And it was a secret that he'd kept. And you play a different character called Raiden. 
who everyone hated at first because everyone just wanted to play yeah, Solid Snake. Uh, but because but he wanted to make a comment on like he's always he, there's so much symbolism and like 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 a subversion of expectation in all of his games and that second game it ends in a really weird way but he predicted the use of the internet and memes and like and this is in like 2001 like or two yeah, yeah. and he predicted like fake news and like the mis disinformation of information and like and he's always done that and he dude he released the game in 2019 called Death Stranding which sort of semi predicted covid like the game you're playing at your delivery man and 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 the world's gone to shit and they use they use um terms like self isolation and i know but i, th I it's crazy I don't, I don't know i think it's more look it's luck it's luck it's, it's more luck but it's also just like the whole the whole world shutting down is always something that people have pontificated about. Yeah, they, they have. It's... But it was the timing is always weird because he's done it before. He's like made weird predictions yeah. that have sort of come to be come true. To yeah, it's really odd. But he's like one of the last few remaining. I had I was listening to a conversation recently comparing him to Tarantino. Now Tarantino, I feel Tarantino's sort of done. He's he's achieved what he always wanted to achieve. And I think that he's 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 made his impact on like popular culture. When you watch like when you I, see Tarantino, I, I still think he's brilliant. I know what you're going to say, and actually, once upon a time in Hollywood, great. You need to watch it again. And no, again. no, no. I love it. It's a it's a slow but, burner. But it's a three time watch. When he says stuff like, oh, "I always wanted to make ten movies," I feel that like that's a bit naff. Like, do I don't. I, mean? see, I think that's iconic. It's cool, but it's a bit naff. But when you watch like, actually, no, less. Um, when you watch like, for instance, Kojima's, this he's done a recent trailer for his video game. You're like, oh, you're still, it's still him. You're still a mad, mad, mad bastard. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I love it. And he's in his sixties, and he's still making. Well, fucking... you no, 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 Kojima, not, not, Kojima, not a mad bastard. Anyway. Um, he's doing what he wants, but I think that he's already achieved it. Do you know what I mean? He's still. I think now he could probably play it a bit safer. And he, and he, I feel that he is the last few movies he's done has played it a bit safe, like Hateful Eight, um, Django. It's, it, it's not as good as like if you watch like fucking Reservoir Dogs or Pulp Fiction or pa uh, or um, Jackie Brown. Those are, those movies are like so much better than. Don't get me wrong. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is fantastic. What's his best film? I think Pulp Fiction. I think I think Pulp Fiction or Reservoir Dogs is is the one that's really grounded in reality. And Glorious yeah. Bastards. Do you think? Yeah. I like Inglorious Bastards, and there's a the, the, like the opening scene in Inglorious Bastards. I think is probably his best work. That like, do you mind if I smoke my pipe as well? Is genius, horrible genius writing, and 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 he basically pulled Christoph Christ Waltz out of nowhere. Well, not uh, he was a famous actor in, in Austria, actor in Austria yeah. but like to cast that, yeah, 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 and he does a lot of his own casting. He does, yeah. Um, it what what an amazing. I think casting. it's the coolest thing in the world, and I don't like Tarantino as a person. I think he's a creep, actually. He's a creep, yeah. Um, but he, um, of course. The, the idea, the arrogance. I don't mind. I don't mind arrogance when you when you deliver. So like Conor McGregor, I think is a bell end, right? Yeah, yeah. Because um, he's not had anything. He's not but, won a fight in but years. When he did, when he said, "I'm going to knock him out," it was great. It. Yeah, like I love it. I yeah, love made, anybody his, his come up who was says they're going to do something and they yeah. just go and do it. I, th I, I fucking I think it's sick. And I think yeah. I say early in your career, you have one movie. And then go, I'm only making 10 of these. And they go, mate, we may not even give you three. It's like, yeah. well, you will. No, trust and trust me, I'm only going to make 10. It's like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. I know, I see, I, back then, it's cool. I think now, I just like, I don't know. No, we're going to be begging for people like Tarantino in 10 years. Yeah, of course we are, yeah. The munch, uh, it's just going to be shit muncher after shit muncher. Hopefully, you and me, and ho we'll be shit munchers when we make our movies, because we're going to make mo one for them, one for you, one for them. Yeah. Tarantino made 10 for him. True, yeah, and and if you happen, Tarantino is kind of like this show. Yeah, he's doing it, and it's if not you happen really... to like it, then yeah. keep watching. If you don't, I don't care. It, that I want to see. That's what he did with his movies. I want to see the the new generation do their thing now because like we've got we've had like Scorsese do because of him, and he's in his eighties. Yeah, I'm and but I, but phenomenal fucking putting out that work in your eighties is ridiculous. I yeah. want to see the new generation, and we talked about it last one. Denis Villeneuve, I, I think, is my. I didn't mention he he directed Prisoners. He did direct. He directed Blade Runner twenty forty nine, the sequel to the original. Never seen either Blade Runner. Definitely watch them. I know. You, I think you'd, you'd really enjoy them. I think you'd really enjoy them. I was at my um, my my un uncle in law's house. Mm. I don't even know the, what to call him, uncle in law, I guess. Yeah. And he was like, "Well, we're going to sit down and watch yeah, Blade yeah. Runner." It's a fucking ten minute intro and then then yeah the cousins came in and were like don't 
do this. <laughs> it's, do something else. it's so good though. But yeah. but but you like you know like you said what was the movie you said you saw the other day? It's like twenty minutes before any dialogue. Um, no country. No, um, there will be blood. There will be blood. Yeah, the original Blade Runner is Ridley Scott firing on all cylinders. Yeah. He's that, that and the Gladiator. I think is his best work. Although I really like the Last Jewel as well. Recent Last Jewel's great movie. I haven't seen Napoleon yet. I haven't seen Napoleon yet I'm either. Up for it. I really want to see Napoleon. I fucking love Vanessa Kirby so much. Oh, mate. She used to date Callum Turner as well, funnily enough. Now he's dating Dua Lipa. Callum Way Turner's worse. He's rattling through it. He's rattling through it. Vanessa uh, Kirby? Um, uh, yeah, you don't really, you don't, you don't twist on Vanessa Kirby. You, that, you stick on Vanessa You stay Kirby. on Vanessa Kirby. So I think he's, he's, he's fumbled the bag there. He's with Dua Lipa now. I don't really know much about her. Dua Lipa, um, I think it's just very, very nice to look at, obviously. Yeah. Um, don't know anything about her. Um, don't know any of her music. I, I genuinely you couldn't do know a lot of her music. I don't know. I, I I don't I don't know any of Ed Sheeran's music. Okay, so Ed Sheeran, I don't like him, but I love his music. Yeah, if, I, I you appreciate know, he's probably you know good. Ed Sheeran, right? Everyone, keep, his his image is the guy who um, who just he's the boy who made it, right? Yeah, he's been very famous. He made it at seventeen. He didn't have yeah. that much of a struggle. Yeah, true. Okay, he was doing a bit of busking. People didn't take him seriously because he was ginger. Don't put him in Game of Thrones. But his SBTV thing, he came out, I think he was literally 17 years old. Yeah. You need me, man, I don't need you. So now he's in his 30s. Mm. He's been globally famous for a long time. He's uh, mm. Tether's cut, baby. He's an old, but he's gone. That's true. Don't put him in Game of Thrones. That don't wound me up so much, man. That made me so angry. Yeah, that really wound me up as well. Um, I'm now, I actually, I keep Facebook on my phone just to look back at my memories. Yeah. I don't know if you ever do this, but just anyone who's listening or watching, never look back. Don't look back at what you were. This is why, like, these, watching these back years ago, I'm yet to really cringe at them. Yeah. But I know I will. We've not been doing it for that long, though. Start, really? Yeah, true. Not true. really. We haven't. There's not enough. I mean, I'm looking at posts that I did 14 years ago, and I'm just like, I of don't course do that. Yeah, don't do that. that. Hell is that? I deleted all on my Facebook immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's um. Smart. We have an agony aunt section. Hit me. Let me help Ready. people out. All right, we're going to help out these people. We're going to help these people out. Go on. Go on. Um, Let's do it. One second. I mean, goodness me, you're coming to us. So I know. It, it is must mental, be, isn't it? Must, the wolf must be at the door. Yeah. All right. Come on. All right now. Um, first question yeah. is from Anon. Okay. Matt and Harvey, please help. John Doe. Had a week of sleepless nights and crippling anxiety. Mm -hmm. Cannot settle knowing Matt switched Maestro off and didn't get past the grimacing weirdness at the start. I too almost gave up and missed a beautiful, very flawed love story, especially he like as he likes Carrie Mulligan. She's exceptional in it. Mm. Please, can he willingly watch or forcibly and let us know? I look fugly without sleep. Thank you, Anon. Anon, did, response you, to that. did you not sleep because I didn't watch a movie? Because that that, that is the root of your problem. Um, yeah, I would say so. You can't attach your sleep to this man's ability to uh, to sit through a movie. Just, That's mental. To disregard really great works of art. I'll disregard anything. Um, he's been to the Louvre and he's like, no, no, fuck off. <laughs> get get out of here. Get out of here. Can I have my money back, please? Is the Louvre free? <laughs> I don't know. You're here for free, mate. Well, yeah. Well, look, get, I have my money back either way. No. You, you, you've seen St. Michelangelo's David as well, and you're like, well, it's, that's fucking rubbish. No. So, to, yeah, listen, I, I I just know what I like, and I don't conscribe to just because everyone else says something's good, then it's good. Exactly. Someone I didn't think it was good. Someone can come up to Matt and be like, this is a seminal work of art, and you'll be like, well, it's not for me. It's a piece of shit. Not for me. And you can't attach a sleeping pattern to that. No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna help you out in life. The best idea I do for your sleeping pattern is um, wake up one morning at like five thirty, do yeah. forty thousand steps all day. Do not go anywhere near somewhere where you can sit down and recline. Yeah, and then go to sleep at nine thirty at night. Every then that's that make yourself exhausted. Mm. And then you will sleep. And then the next morning again, wake up again at 5.30. So you're weaning yourself into mm. being tired at the right times. And then, honestly, this is, I know, a bit of extension. No, 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 go on. H hungover, weekend, holiday, work day, no mm. matter what, mm. just try and wake up in the same sort of, like, if you wake up for work at 6am mm. on your weekend, don't let yourself wake up later than 8. 
Yeah, stay tip. in those zones. Yeah, always, no matter what happens, gain consciousness and stay in yeah, those zones, it. and get light in your eyes as early as you possibly can. Listen, I look like shit, but my sleeping is on point. I go to sleep fucking early, mm. and I wake up at, on time. Every- I my tip is put on rain noise. Just or listen to Harry Potter on audio. That's yeah, any do. yeah, you've got a really good actually no, you've got My a really mask cool mask which has plays with headphones which don't affect your ears. But well. only it only plays for like half an hour. Well, you cut the timer on. Audible. Oh, whatever. Audible, yeah, 45 That's minutes. It's really cool. I Dude, do it is amazing. So yeah, um I want to talk about TikTok after this quickly. S- sleep sleep well. Um second question. Yep. Um well, not a question. It's actually help. They need help, Matt. They need help. They must need help. Uh hi gents. Um it's from Everard apparently um, I lie about four times a day mm-hmm. nothing major just you know thank you I'm definitely going to wear this mm-hmm. I've never seen that website before in my life and I'm coping really well thanks that mm-hmm. sort of thing yep as professional actors and successful showrunners of course of the lack of focus correct, correct, show correct, correct, correct. Uh, I thought you might have some high level input on how to lie better that's, I don't know if I'm going to take offence to that or not until we get to the end of the question. Uh, I paid attention the last time I was lying and it's like I can't get out of my head. If I'm lying because I gave my younger brother a fag, for example, I feel like whilst I'm saying to my parents, I definitely did not give my brother a cigarette, I should be thinking, I definitely did not give my brother a cigarette. This is ridiculous. This is, this is mental. Rambling. This is rambling. Yeah, rambling. Instead, I'm actually thinking, I can't believe I'm lying about giving my brother a cigarette they uh, uh, are 100% I'm lying okay bored. okay I'm bored. all right okay I'm bored now uh, I'm going to skip to the end yeah I've got a job interview in about a month that I'm exquisitely okay. underqualified for it's only finance join the club so bro. any help would be appreciated now firstly I'm not a good liar I am <laughs> too honest the entire time mm. and when I do try and lie I get into my mum always said to me if you're going to lie keep it simple and yeah. it's the best advice because if you're actually being, if you're telling the truth, then it often is very simple. Yeah. I also think the most interesting thing you can ever say to anybody ever is the truth. Uh, so in your interview, even though you're wildly unqualified, uh, just be be honest. Be like, um, yeah, that's what I would do. But you're more the finance guy. Yeah. Uh, well, funny enough, I actually got let go of my day job this week. I say got let go. They asked me to leave. Yeah. It's I not being sacked. It's not things from all the time. It's not being sacked. Can you leave this bar? You're being yeah. you're, you're causing a ruckus. Happy to leave. It's not being sacked. My night was over anyway. Um, so now I'm back to being a full time floaty creative. I like that. E- it's quite fun. Your yeah. it's your good energy era or floaty actor a couple yeah. of years ago when you did nothing else did but nothing float around. Nothing else, yeah. This time at least you'll have some money. I've got a bit of cash. Yeah. Last time you had no money. Yeah. Floating around. Mental. It was chaos. Yeah. I put myself in crippling crippling debt. You did. But look, well, I got out of it, Matt. Is what yeah, the point? The, the key thing is, got I got and you didn't ever tell me he was in crippling debt. I didn't tell anyone. Which was a sh- because I wanted to, it was my burden to carry. That's the samurai element of it. It's the samurai element of it. Yeah, Just it take the burden on your back. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. Walk into a quiet, dark room. I will badger sit. everybody with my Okay, lying um, just um just yeah, keep don't, it simple. Okay, well don't okay, for good for God's sake, don't be yourself. No one wants to see that. Don't be yourself. Uh, in an interview, if they say anything, can you do this? Yeah, definitely. Don't bat an eyelid. Yep, yeah, definitely I can do it. Just convince yourself. Oh, if um if you are to tell a lie, yeah. Don't get bogged down in the detail. It will sink a ship. If they mention that they like a restaurant, say that you ate at the restaurant a year ago and you think it's shit now, because that will assert dominance. Now, also, they will think you're a cunt, but they'll also think you're be- that you're that that's quite cool. If you're going to lie, make it small, conversational. What's your name, Sherry? Hmm, that was my mother's name. Perfect. Was then it? you're in. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, if you're gonna uh, job interview, finance job interview, just just ask for a drink of water immediately when they bring it. Send it back and say I need it room temperature. If it comes room temperature, say no, it, I need it to be colder. Exactly. Keep them on their toes. They don't know what's going on. Um, also, it is a two way street in interview. They've got to convince you yeah, to work for why them. Do I, why do I? Why do I want to be here? Maybe turn the interview on its head. Ask them a few questions. Yeah, that's a good ask exercise. Them to leave. Exactly. You come in. Have you got your CV? I want to see your CV. What do you do? I'll, you, I'll show you my CV. What's the you name show of this me company? Your CV. What is the name of this company? How do I get out of this no, no, building? No, you give me your lanyard. Yeah, yeah. Where is the evacuation fire point? Yeah, leave. Just leave out of a window. Yeah. Yeah. How often is this place cleaned? These are the sort of questions that you must ask. Um, <laughs> I didn't know when I was going to break on that. <laughs> I was going to keep going until you did. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So look, I think that's ans- asked and answered, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it and be grateful. Take Next. it. Next one. 
Dear Matt and Harvey, like yourselves, uh, I am an actor. Ugh. Unlike yourselves, I am probably at the tail end of my career. What? Like me- Are you 90? Like, well, like many people my age, I'm guessing a bit older. Um, like many people my age, I feel I spend a lot of time looking backwards. No. Nostalgia fuels my day to day. No. I've had a good career, but as I'm sure you will understand, nothing is ever quite good enough as an actor. I want to be remembered for the right stuff, but also worry about being remembered at all. Is this Harrison Ford again? What would your advice be? Uh, well, no, um, they've said anonymous, but I know who it is. Yeah. P. Brosnan. Piers. Writing in again, Piers. Listen, Piers, don't Piers, compare Piers. yourself to Danny Craig. You were the best Bond and we all know it. You were the best Bond. Uh, th- that question's about looking back and being too nostalgic. Yeah. Uh, nostal- nostalgia is a sin. Yeah. Uh, and you should uh, never, ever, ever look back. Well... I think I think the the idea of being remembered once you're not here anymore is um is an interesting one. I I think you can't worry about that. My favorite lyric of all time is a song called "The Wild Hunt" by the tallest man on earth, and it says, um, "I plan to be forgotten when I'm gone because I'm a believer in the fool." Meaning that each time a flower arrives or the trees and the leaves, they are uniquely for themselves incredible, and the very definition of them is that they are designed to be instantly forgotten and sure. replaced with some we all think we're super unique we're not we will be replaced instantly yeah. by someone very very similar to us even the very the, this the, the chairs we're sat in obviously the podcast isn't going to be quite as good as ours nowhere near but it's going to look quite similar to what we're doing right yeah now. but it's not going to be um take solace in the fact that you'll be instantly forgotten and that in it's, it's liberating it, it, honestly take, it is take, liberating. take freedom in the fact the fact the, 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 i used to want to be remembered why so much What's and i'm point? just like what like and, and a great example of it is when you sort of go back to your old school to give a talk or something um and never done you, that you're just looking at faces and no one has a fucking scooby-doo who you are and yet you were a legend at that school once yeah not so, you obviously me. yeah no not me um, no, no, no. and you're going I'm on, I'm on the wall and they're like what you and like other like 400 other people who names i don't give a fuck about mm. um and that's like a microcosm of why you just shouldn't give a shit <laughs> I think, I think, remembered. yeah, I think there's... Be remembered to your friends. Be remembered by That's doing it. something good. And if you can, like, if you get really rich, then give fucking shitloads of charity. Try and keep it quiet. Um, yeah, don't know that song you made, and dance like, about it. And your, your instincts, you're not even aware. You're not even aware of your impact that you've had on people. Like, That's like true. the whole idea of paying it forward and doing tiny little things here and there. You don't know how far those ripples go. Like, I... some Someone does a nice thing for me back in, like, 2009... On like a train out of nowhere, which changed my whole shift onto why how I should approach people. Like that person has yeah. no idea he could have achieved nothing else in his life, but through the vessel of me, I could go on to do something incredible. And that's derivative of that person. Just because your name isn't remembered, your action, your energy is remembered through osmosis of who you've affected mm. along your journey. So, in that's yeah, it. In, in in the polarizing way of like, is my name remembered? Is my name not remembered? You got to try and think. Yeah, that. I think. I think sometimes thinking too big is too scary. Yeah, for sure. But in this element of it, it it's comforting to know that it, it it doesn't matter. I think. I think if you if you're playing to be remembered, or if you're playing for fame, if you're playing for not, I say playing. If you're if your your goal in life is to be remembered, your goal is fame. You're thinking about the wrong thing. Just all you can think about and what you that you should be thinking about. I definitely want to be famous. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I I think that's 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 a, that's a um, that's fame is a symptom of what I, what I really want. Yeah, uh, what I really want is to is to is I to want work. It's a fucking day job. I just want to do movies and yeah, TV yeah. shows the whole time. But that's my, that's my thing. I think I think you should always just try to enjoy you, the life that you have as opposed to worrying about the one you that you're going to leave behind when you're not here. Because because mate, when you're not here, the people that love you will remember you and that's how you'll live on. But like who who cares if like someone that you never met in a million like in, like it's the idea of like building statues and shit. It's the, the person that's sta- that's a statue, they don't give a fuck. They're dead. Yeah. Do you know I mean, so like the idea the, is the the wider concept is cool. All right, I think we answered that. Is that I think we one? answered. That's asked and answered. Yeah, I think that is sort of the end of the agony art section. Um, I just want to touch quickly on TikTok before we run out. Of yeah, time. let's do it. I'm really struggling with it at the moment. I think I'm sure. quite quitting. I think I'm coming to the end okay. of like a TikTok career. Cool. Uh, wanted to get your advice on this. I feel like I have nothing. The Harry Potter stuff was what I had to add. And as I do them now, I keep coming up with ideas to do them and I can churn them out again. Yeah. But I find that myself being dis I feel in, look, it sounds arrogant. It's like too easy for me. Sure. And I find it disingenuous 
to keep doing things that no longer entertain me. Okay. I love doing this. How does this is what I love doing? Sure, me too. But I don't love doing the TikTok anymore. So I feel like if I'm if to be doing it is forcing something that I'm not liking. Well, then there's, you've got your answer there. Do you if it doesn't serve you anymore yeah. and you don't enjoy doing it, yeah. then why would you do it? Yeah. Like you, you don't be chained to it. I'm trying to compare my feelings to this time last year. But what is it? What what did it give you? I think what the, the answer to that question gave me validation of the fact yeah. that I was funny. Okay. No, I never thought I was funny before I was brave enough to put it on the internet. You must have. No, I knew I was funny to niche a few very people, yeah, few fine. people and fine. I had okay, like fine. off remarks here and there. But I didn't think I could do structured comedy that I wrote, my, wrote myself. What would... Funny. But did it give you an element of... I, I mean, we talked about this. Did it give you an element of like regular practice doing it's like something? going to the gym, definitely. Yeah. Right so so I think now, you, if you are going to stop that, you, you've got the good positive validation from it. But you, what you, if you do stop it, you will lose that regular practice. So you need to replace that with something. That's the only but thing I'd say. I, but we can do stuff. Yeah, I got loads. I want to. I'm I free as a bird now. Free as a bird, baby. I'm yeah, I think, I, I think we got to go back to writing our. I uh, wasn't sacked. Yeah, no, I wasn't there. sacked. It's not, don't ever get bored. You know, you're like a you know member I mean? of parliament. No one ever fires a member. Of parliament. No, no, no. I, I was asked you to want step more down. Time with your family. Exactly. I, I, I wanted to spend more time. With my family. And just because you barely ever, 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 ever did your job. Properly, allegedly, allegedly. That doesn't mean yeah. that, that you weren't brilliant at it, Harvey. Top of my game, actually. Harvey's very lucky. Yeah. Because Harvey's incredibly intelligent. Um, Shocker. I know. Yeah, I know. Despite so, the character that I play on this yeah, uh, he, um So he gets away with um, doing almost nothing in, in his job. Allegedly. Um, I mean, it's not, <laughs> and it's now not they, they yeah. go, would you like a promotion? He went, don't want to do more fake work. Yeah. So I'll just. What is I, the, option? What's the, the option? What's the option? Sack. You sack. Take the sack then, probably. I will be yeah. sacked. Yeah. And uh, look, so look, if you are out there and you're worried about losing your job and you're worried about, you know, your wife having left you or whatever, write into the show. We'll figure it out. We've been there. We've solved these issues, these hard hitting social issues. And we will again. Putting out that that poor person that wanted a finance job, he's walking away with a smile on his face <laughs> after listening he's to this. Go he's going. Thank God I wrote I in. I can see clearly now the pain has gone. Exactly. I know what's going on. I know how I'm going to address it. Exactly. So don't worry. You know, Monday morning, you roll up to the interview. I remember the water thing that I said. And, yeah. And asking how many times they clean the building. Always. This kind of stuff. It will get you far. You know, it doesn't matter. I don't know how far. to use word processor either. And look how far I've got. Exactly. And it is a word processor they're called. That's what they're called. They're not a typewriter anymore. Um, on that note, do you want to wrap up? Um, yes. Yes, I do. Um, I, uh, I'm not going to say keep, stay out my fucking way this time. Sure, yeah. Because I, yeah, I mean, if you do see us, um, don't stay out of fucking way. Just come and say hello. Keep it brief. Don't, do you know what I mean? Don't, don't stop me if I'm doing something. But I'm if, not doing photos. Definitely not. Definitely not. Maybe do stay out of fucking way. Do you know what I mean, just maybe, do, maybe, do, mate, do, do, just keep it quiet at least. 